In this video, let's see a new topic on matrices called as equality of matrices. Basically, in this topic, we are going to study when are the two matrices equal. Two matrices are equal when the following three conditions hold true. The first condition for the matrix would be the rows should be equal. The second should be the columns should be equal. And the third should be every element of the two matrices should be equal. If still not understood, let's see what theoretical approach we are going to follow to understand this and we'll be seeing few examples. Let's read about equality of matrices. The two matrices A, which is Aij M by N, that means M rows N columns and B, Bij R by S, that means R rows and S columns are said to be equal when the first condition rows of A and B are equal. The rows should be equal. Rows should be equal means what? The number of rows here are what M. The number of rows in the matrix B are what R. So if the rows are equal, although the other two conditions should also be true, it is not that only one of these is true, then the matrices are equal. All three should be true. That means the rows should be equal. By rows should be equal, I mean that M is equal to R. So that means M should be equal to R. The next condition is what? Columns of A and B are equal. That means the vertical lines or the columns of the two matrices should also be equal. By columns I mean what? In the case of A matrix, N is the column, number of columns. In case of B matrix, R and S were there, so S is the column. So I write N is equal to S in case of columns. Now if these two conditions of rows and columns are equal, do we not mean that the order is same? Yes, because rows and columns when combined basically mean order only. So I know that for two matrices should be equal, their order should be equal. What about the third condition? The third condition says that Aij is equal to Bij. For all i is equal to 1, 2, 3 to m. And for all j is equal to 1, 2, 3 to n. That means all the elements, every element of A matrix should be equal to every element of B matrix. Let's see some examples. Example number one is about two matrices A and B. Matrix A is having four elements A, B, C, D and matrix B is having four elements 0, 1, 2, 3. And it is given to me in the question that A is equal to B. This is given to me. Now since A matrix is equal to B matrix, now we need to follow the conditions. Are the rows of the two matrix equal? Two rows here, two rows here. So yes, two rows here, two rows here. What about the columns? Two columns, two columns. So yes, the order is same. It is two by two. First two conditions are satisfied. Now the third condition is what? That if the rows are equal, the columns are equal, every element of the first matrix should be equal to that of the second matrix at the respective positions. So if A is A11, 0 is B11, I should have because of my equality of matrix that A is equal to 0. Does that not mean about equality? Yes, that is equality only. What about the other alphabets? B is A12. Here it is B12. So my B is equal to 1. What about C? C is A21. 2 is B21. So my C is equal to 2. C is equal to 2. And what about the next? The last but not the least is D. D here is equal to 3. So by this we come to know that all the elements of equal matrices are equal at their respective positions. Let's take example number 2. Example number 2 is about two matrices and you have to tell whether these matrices are equal or not. The first matrix 
is about a row matrix which has one row and three columns. The second matrix, let's see, is what? The second matrix is given to us as a matrix with two rows and three columns. So it is two rows and three columns. Now we have to check whether these matrices are equal or not. Are the rows equal, 1 and 2? No, the rows are not equal. Since the first condition itself is not satisfied, the rows are not equal. So no need to check anything else. These matrices are not equal. Similarly, had the question been wherein the rows were equal but the columns were not or the columns are equal but the rows are not, the matrices are not equal. So from this topic we come to know that two matrices are only equal when the rows are equal, the columns are equal that means the order is equal and every element of the first matrix should be equal to every element of the second matrix at their respective positions.